Hey there, this is going to be a quick tutorial in Revit 2019 on how to create standing seam metal roof on a project. This is a um, remodel job that I'm doing for a client in Richardson, Texas. Uh, obviously it was an older rambling ranch house probably from the 70s, uh, maybe late 70s. And uh, the client indicated that they wanted to take the old composition roof off, put in a standing seam, and so that's what I've done here. Now, one of the first solutions you could come up with on this is you could create a material type on just a regular roof that was horizontal spaced hatching of about two feet across and then you could somewhat emulate this on on a roof system but there's a better way to do it that gives you the full depth and profile of the actual ribs of the standing seam and that's what I wanted to show you today the trick is to use sloped glazing so I'm going to come over here and touch on this, and you'll see it's kind of highlighting. It's actually not touching the roof below it. It's touching the actual sloped glazing. There's actually two roofs here. If I was to take this and for a second move it out of the way, you see that I have a base roof, and I can set the material type and color to that to have do whatever I want. But the slope glazing literally just becomes the ribs, the ribbing of, of the uh, standing seam. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to touch on this and go over to my style and we're going to take a look at it by editing the type. So the first thing you'll notice is uh, that the curtain panel type, it's very important. There's not one. It's an empty system panel. That way you see straight through this slope glazing onto the base material of the roof below it. Um, the grid that I have laid out, the first grid one, is a fixed distance of two feet. You can obviously change that to whatever it is you want. I have it set to adjust for the size of the mullion. Grid two, well, it doesn't exist. At least not for me in this size. I, I just wanted the horizontal lines to uh, show up here. So it's set to none. And then we get down to grid one's mullion size. I picked here a rectangular mullion and I have a custom one created called standing seam. Let me go and show you what that is. I'm going to come over here and touch on this roof and I'm going to use the tab key to select the components until I get an actual standing seam um, mullion here. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to edit type. And here's what you will see. It actually has a custom profile called metal roof seam attached to pick up its shape. So let me cancel here and I'm going to go over and show you that this is the custom profile built. This is simply the profile shape that I wanted to emulate the raised ribbing of standing seam and then I applied it to that mullion. So how do you make one of these roofs? Well, actually, it's, it's as easy as creating any roof. In fact, we can just go over here to um, architecture, to the roof command. And I'll just do a very simple uh, roof here. But I'm going to pick the style. And it was slope glazing that would be in your list. Now, I made a custom one called standing seam. So now that shows up as well. And I can, just for the sake of this quick demo, do a quick rectangular boundary on this plan. And perhaps set these to a roof slope of probably 5 and 12. I think that's what the original house was. And then when I hit OK, there's my sloped glazing. So again, you would have that simply laying over the top of... Um, the other roof system and uh, that's it pretty simple solution um, if this is useful to you please like and subscribe I'll keep adding more later thank you